I'm not a back road, but we just got off the freeway and saw another motorcyclist drive riding crazy erratic. I mean, going from one lane to another, zooming past. You know, the first thing we thought, man, I hope that guy make it home safe. No, yes, we ride way faster than most people and, you know, we get a lot of practice in. Well, this guy was riding so fast and we started thinking about, man, I wonder how he drive. Because, you know, we get on freeway and people cut you off and, and they want to uh, go into road rage. And we know on a motorcycle, road rage is one we cannot win. So we kind of very, very conscious of that. Which brings us to this question that we have. And we got this question because of one of our friends that we know uh, got into trouble. So the question is this, if you are a crazy road rage type rider, um, I'm sorry, a crazy road ride type driver in a vehicle, does that make you a bad motorcyclist? Do you translate that over to riding your motorcycle? you cutting people off, you're driving like crazy, does it translate over to riding your motorcycle? Or if you're a good, nice, safety conscious, well-rounded motorcyclist, does that make you a better driver? Does it translate over to you being a better driver? Now here's why. Now you know what story I'm about to tell, right Kate? <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling I know which one. Because that, that motorcyclist, he just wasn't speeding. He yeah. was changing lanes and yeah. splitting but lanes. I said, you know what story I'm about to tell. Yeah, I know, to relate I know. To, that we have to relate to. Yeah. It goes like this. We was coming from uh, Los Angeles, California, and it's about... Uh, about 360, 360 miles from us. Yeah, I would say about that distance, 350 miles from our house, 350, 360 from our house. And we was coming back with some friends. We had rented an SUV and coming back from an event. So we all tired coming back from this event. And one of our friends was driving, and he was driving like a maniac. Remember, he got people in the car, he's driving like a maniac. I mean, speeding, cutting, cutting people off. With, you know what I mean. I, I don't know how to explain it. How, how, how you say you're driving? I ain't going to say no names. He didn't want any cars in front of him. Seemed like he didn't right. want on any on the side of him. So any little opening he had, he would get in there. Yeah. But the thing was, he was speeding it, and he wasn't doing it to, to yeah. changing lanes smoothly. He was jerking like this. Let me and see. You see my bike? He jerked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he was jer just jerking, and you know, and we in there, we trying to sleep just in case <laughs> one of us have to drive, and we couldn't because we're being bounced around like a ping pong ball. Yeah, I mean, this guy was driving super wild and horribly. Nobody could sleep, so. We actually stopped to get gas, and I, I, I said, hey, man, anybody tell you that you're a horrible driver? And he was surprised, like, no, I thought I was a good driver. And I wound up taking the keys from him, and I drove the rest of the way home. Now, let's fast forward. It's the same story. We know the guy I drive horrible. I mean, he's been driving like that for a while. And we were at a different event, and he, him, him and his significant other, shall I say that? Significant yeah, other, say that, say that. A significant other came on motorcycles. So, Kick and I was kind of dumbfounded and surprised, like, wow, these people riding motorcycles the way he drives? And we was like, okay, whatever. We hope that he a better mi a biker than driver. Fast forward a couple of years, he gets into a major, major motorcycle accident to where he can no longer ride. I mean, brain injury and all the, the works. He can no longer ride. Let that car get a little bit ahead of us so we can really ride these curves. We gotta stop here and finish talking for a minute. But he get a, get into a major motorcycle accident the way he can no longer ride. Just let him get a feel farther up there. And uh, the significant other says that he was splitting lanes here in California. You know, we can split lanes in California legally, but back then it wasn't legal. But he was splitting lanes and oh, not a car. <laughs> say, say what it is. He was, he was splitting lanes. It's legally now, it's, and it's called lane sharing. Lane sharing. Okay, he was sharing yeah. lanes, quote, unquote, <laughs> and <laughs> ran into a river car. Now, his significant other said a car cut him off. He was, he know, he was doing his riding safe, and we kind of thought, well, the way he drive, go ahead. The way he drive, 
it's kind of hard for us to believe that he was riding safely just because of the way he drives. And needed to say, we looked at the police report, because you know, police reports are public record as long as the investigation is over, and found out, according to the witnesses, he was splitting lane above 60 miles an hour from the number one lane, cutting across all the way to the number three lane and back and forth and everything. And they actually say he was riding recklessly, which kind of confirms you and I uh, thoughts about how he was riding, right? Right. So that's why we came up with this. Does being a horrible driver turn you, take it, turn you into a bad rider? What do you think, Kate? You think, answer that question now. You think it's an isolated case with our friend or give your opinion on it? I want your opinion also. With me, I'm a good driver. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> I'm a good driver. So you think. <laughs> anyway. That's what my insurance, I got low rates on my insurance. <laughs> From Jake State Farm. <laughs> so. <laughs> take that, take that hard. 70, 70. So, pick it up, pick it up. Um, I'm on my lane. I'm listening. Yeah, I, it, it, it made me a better driver. Cause I'm more aware now, uh -huh. and I'm looking more and more for motorcyclists now. Now that I ride motorcycles, I would look for motorcycles, but not as hard as I look for them now. Okay. So you know, the first thing happens so when you you're telling when, me that riding a motorcycle made you a better driver. Riding a motorcycle made me a, a better driver. But do you think? So I went from good to better. Okay. But do you think that? Reckless drivers become reckless motorcyclists. That's the question right there. Um, from the story that we just told? Not just the story, in general. In general? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But motorcyclists help your driving a, a bit. Being a motorcyclist helped me because for one, the first thing when a motorcyclist get hit by a car, the first thing that driver says is, I didn't yeah. see him. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. So it makes you more see aware. Him. And you know, it's hard for us not to be seen. Even with all the lights and bells and whistles that we have on, some folks have on their bikes. It's hard for still, us to be seen. It's still to be seen, yeah. but you said not it's still seen. not, you're still not seen at times. Right. They'll say, oh, I didn't see him. And they changed that lane and you were right there. So if you splitting lanes and going over the rate of speed that you should be splitting Lang at, or now Lang sharing at, and the car ah, cuts you off. You say splitting. <laughs> right? And the car cuts cuts you off. Well, just for everybody you know, to know that even though it's legal to, to share lanes or split lanes in California, if you get an accident, it's still your fault. You are not required to do that because the vehicles have a right to switch lanes also, to change lanes. Anyway, back to that, the question. In my case, I think that because of what we do on motorcycles and, and with our chapter, in case you guys didn't know, Cake and I are the chapter directors, and we do a lot of safety stuff with our safety coordinators and Willie and Melody, and we big in the safety. Even though we ride hard, I mean, we really ride hard. You know, I used to ride sports bikes. But anyway, I think that... Oh, this is our turn. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that riding has made me more of aware, more of a better driver, because like you said, I became more aware, even though I was seriously good at driving anyway, driving anyway, because you know what I've done. I, I, for those who don't know, I did teach driving and safe driving to several students. I just keep it like that, so I won't go too much into detail. And always thought of myself as a really good, really, really, really good driver. And obviously we heavy into motorcycles, so me being a good driver translate over to me being a good motorcyclist, and they go hand in hand because of me conscious and safe awareness on a motorcycle. It made me a better driver. So with that in mind, that's the question because of just one crazy motorcyclist on the freeway today riding like an idiot. Do you think that? Being a horrible driver translate over to being a, a horrible motorcyclist? Or have you became a better driver 
because you are a motorcyclist with the potential of getting seriously injured if you drive like an idiot. So. And uh -huh. with me, I've become a better passenger too. You became a better passenger? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. No, nah, Kate thinks she's a better passenger. Now tell them, tell them why. Because I'm looking in the mirror, helping the driver out look for the motorcycles now. <laughs> It sounds more like he became a bastard, <laughs> <laughs> a backseat driver, <laughs> uh, a front seat driver. I'm looking at it. Make sure you look over your shoulder. Oh yeah, I'm in there. I'm yeah, teaching. Yeah, that's cool. I like you. You look it out for us, now. and you teach, and you share, yeah. you share knowledge. That's great. You know, but I, I don't think our daughters like that when I'm riding with that's them. That's why I said pest. You know, because I go from being mommy. To mom. To mom. And when I hear that mom, <laughs> I know I'm, you know, I'm, I know I'm. You're on mom. the right track when you hear that. I'm doing something that's irritating to them. Okay, she yeah. says she became a better passenger. I, yep. I, I will argue her down about that. Anyway, we're going to end that right here. Unless you got anything else to add. You want to add, add that thing that you always add? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me add this. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Yay. Don't forget to comment below. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Answer that question. Uh huh. And ring the ring the bell, yep. the notification bell, so yep, you can yep, get yep, notified yep. when we put up a, a new video. Also, share it. If you like our videos, like them. Yeah, That's yeah. All I have to say. Everything that she said, I, I yeah, all that stuff she said. Yeah. So remember, as always, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. Let me hit this curve. Right and we now. out. Please. I'm gonna paint the line I'm right quick. I said, I said, thank you. Get my knee down. Up, oh, can't now. Curve is over. <laughs> <laughs> and we out. Peace. Peace. Ethan Allen. Ethan Allen. Ooh. <laughs>